recent past, communication has had a very different meaning than it does today. Technology has developed in a fashion that has completely changed the way we interact with each other. Advances in technology have made communication such as letters and good old-fashioned face-to-face conversation a thing of the past. This is the day and age of mass media, where Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter consumes everyone. Our cell phones never leave our side because they are the fundamental basis of our everyday functions. We have created a world in which we live through our phones and are oblivious to those around us. This is causing us to unknowingly ruin relationships and communication between the people right in front of us. In a society that is constantly connected, we have never been more disconnected. About 40 years ago, the world's most primary means of communication was through actual verbal conversation. This is not to say that there was no other forms of communication available. The telephone and telegram had been invented, but these were generally used for emergencies and conveying basic essentials information quickly. They were not to be abused and frivolous things such as calling someone to update your status. When we consider communication today, all it takes is a cursory glance around to see that things have changed. From kids to their parents, everyone knows that someone that is always on their cell phone. That is proven by the fact that in the United States, the public spends around 20% of their time using their personal computers for social networking, while another 30% of their time is spent doing the same on their mobile phones. The fact that we're on social media all the time and we're reading a sentence here and a, looking at a picture there and then having a quick conversation and then, you know... Multitasking. It, multitasking, which women are fabulous at apparently. And the female brain's wired for that. Yeah. So, but is that, is that actually making us stupid? Well, anything you do over and over again creates a habit, mm. right? So if your attention span is only for 15 seconds or 10 seconds before you change to the next thing, 
if you practice that every day, you will hardwire that skill or habit into mm -hmm. your brain. And so now you have to pay attention and you really have to learn something. And the thought will come up, I just don't have enough time for this. And you'll go keep doing the things that you think are so important. And that's the moment where you stop learning mm -hmm. and you start feeling. And now you're living in the past. Part of what is alarming about this large amount of time spent on social media websites is how quickly it became a common occurrence. Internet use has evolved rapidly over the past few years. Modern social networking sites such as MySpace and Facebook were first introduced as recently as 2003. This means that people have completely altered their lifestyles into one of constant tweeting and status updates in the short span of only 10 years. We quickly made the transition from a world with hardly any internet use to an average of 850 million active users of social networking sites. Part of the reason why this is so alarming is that we have no idea what the future holds as a result of this new technology. There is no generation before us that can be viewed as an example to what the possible physical and psychological effects these websites may be having on us. This is not to say that social networking does not have its benefits. There are a number of ways that it could be utilized in a meaningful manner. For example, social media can be used to communicate with distant family members, as well as keep long-distant relationships alive. 88% of people reported that social media helps them stay in touch with friends and family they cannot see regularly. It can also be a way for businesses to advertise to a lot of people with little money or effort. In 2013, 52% of marketers said that they had found a customer via Facebook. Social media can also help those who are seeking employment. As a result of this, one in six job seekers can now credit social media for helping them find a current job. Even though the potential for social networking sites is great, we have proven that we are much more likely to use and abuse it. Social media has conditioned us to live a lifestyle in which we go through life on autopilot, being completely insensible to the ones we love. As a result, the human race is slowly transitioning into a cold-hearted community that is lacking empathy for others. This is a problem that is affecting the majority of the population and can get even more out of hand if we do not take action. Don't let social networking take control of you. Take charge by stopping to take a short breather from your computer or any other device that connects you to the media world.